John, you just told me it's 44 Christmases in football for you. That's a lot of Christmas periods. Everyone, every year, it's an important time of the season, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And um, I mean, the first few were spent polishing boots. Uh, first few years, obviously, as a YTS boy, uh, we had to go in on Christmas Day and get the boots ready uh, for Boxing Day for the next day. And then there'd probably be another match within a couple of days. So yeah, we, we worked over Christmas. I was one of the boys that uh, that stayed over Christmas. One or two of the, I think we had a few boys in Newcastle, they went home. Um, but we had to stay and look after them. And then obviously since then it's been playing most Christmases and uh, lots of Christmas nights actually away from home. Um, even as a, as a manager, um, go and stay in some hotel on, on Christmas night. Uh, in preparation for the game the next day. So it's always been uh, a professional time of the year for me, that and New Year. It, it never really meant a great deal to us. Um, Christmas Day has usually been spent training, as it will be this year. So um, yeah, occupational hazard, but um, one that uh, I'd never want to give up. Three points tomorrow would be a great present, wouldn't it? Great way to start an important Christmas period for us. Yes, I think the next uh, three games in particular, um, will play a significant part in, uh, in, in obviously the start of our new year. Um, I've been very pleased with uh, performance really in the last month. I think some of the performances have been very good and um, we've obviously changed the shape of the team a little bit. Playing with three central defenders, uh, allowing wing backs and that to go and join in and get forward. Uh, on reflection, I took a lot of pleasure out of last week's performance uh, against uh, the best team in our division uh, and the strongest team and a um, uh, very well supported team. It's a hard place to go, Ashton Gate, and uh, there were some very good uh, individual performances and, and a very good team performance last week and slightly unjustified, the, the winning goal, but uh, lots of positives that came out of that game and um, we need to take that in and, and that was one of my questions to the players afterwards. Can you go and reproduce that? performance again next Saturday at home to Port Vale. Um, it might not be as sexy as, as going to Ashton Gate to play the league leaders, you know, you don't really need too much motivation for that kind of game. But here at home, uh, we've not been that, uh, that good, uh, we haven't won enough matches here at home. Um, so I challenged them after the game and, and said you've got to go and produce that kind of performance next Saturday and if you do, uh, you'll get three points from it. And um, you know, I've looked. Uh, I just looked uh, the last couple of days. I've been sort of analysing the last 14 matches. We've we've only lost four games, um, but we've drawn seven and just won the three. Um, those seven draws. I know it, every point counts. It's uh, seven points, but those seven draws could quite easily have been four victories in that. You know, um, <clears throat> an extra eight points would have made a huge difference to us. We'd probably be just outside the top six. And, um, but looking at the league table, you know, there's so much to play for. Um, uh, somebody said to me this morning, you're not having a lot of luck. Um, you know, come out of games that uh, you, you suddenly get, as Bristol did in the last few yeah. minutes last week, grab, grab a winning goal. And uh, that probably hasn't happened quite so much to us. And, you know, you do make your own luck. But um, I read a very good article actually by a, an American football coach. Uh, the gridiron coach, you know, who said that 80% of the game you can control. There is 20% of it that you can't control. Uh, and he was very successful. And, and uh, I, I have to agree with him to a certain degree. You know, there's, the 20% is like a referee's decision. Uh, a bad bounce of the ball, um, a fortunate goal. Or, yeah. Somebody falling over. We've done that before. <laughs> a crucial moment uh, that's cost you a game. And um, yeah, there is that bit. but. You have to make sure that the 80% is correct, and uh, we, we're, we're doing okay. And we just need to turn those those draws into victories. And um, looking at the league table, you know, we're four points behind 11th place. Mm. That's how close it is. Uh, we're in uh, the position we're in is on goal difference because we have an inferior goal difference as well. Um, one or two of the matches that we lost here uh, by by large scores would have made a big difference to us. We lost 4-0 to Rochdale, 4-1 to Peterborough. Um, but uh, a, a victory tomorrow would, would set us up nice, obviously, for the Christmas period. No key Keane, of course, he's going no. back to Preston, but to Ryan Dixon available, so... And you've got, obviously, mm. other options with Marvin and what have you yes. in the midfield area. Yes. Yeah, it's good that, you know, Marvin has, has, has extended his contract. He's on a monthly contract and, 
you know, each month we keep renewing it, and um, we'll probably have to do something slightly more permanent in January. Uh, but it's good to have him uh, around and and, uh, and fit as well. And fit, fit. Now, yeah, yeah. He's obviously had a couple of problems, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. But you know, he's overcome them. And uh, and 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 in Ryan Dixon, you've got somebody that wants to play. Uh, he's playing tomorrow because he wants to play. Uh, he's just had a hernia operation, for God's sake, and. Uh, um, barely 10 days ago yeah. um, but it just shows you the the drive and the uh, enthusiasm that this boy has he just he, li he literally wrote his name his own name on the on the team sheet last week he said no I'll be, I'll be fit next week I'll be ready uh, ready to play and uh, and he is so um, yeah it, he, it's great to have him back Guion's not quite ready um, his operation was slightly more severe than uh, Ryan's but um, he'll be he'll be ready for uh, Boxing Day Orient as will uh, Banch as well so um, all in all we're all looking good um, we just hope that uh, we can start our Christmas period off uh, well with a home victory against Port Vale.